There's a ton of information on YouTube that show beginner affiliates different methods of making money online, but most of them are just fluff pieces that doesn't show anything near what the thumbnail in the title of the video says. Or even worse still, some videos show affiliate marketing methods that require tens of thousands of followers online to even make work. The biggest problem is that none of them show beginner affiliates how to start and create a sustainable business. So in today's video, we're covering four beginner friendly methods to skyrocket your business into success. Now we've already covered a few methods in a previous video including native ads, guest writing, solo ads, and so much more. To start things off, we're going to talk about one of the easiest methods to use and that is through text. Whether it be on medium.com or Quora, some people prefer to get their information through the written language. When it comes to Quora, I know from experience that just writing an answer isn't going to cut it. You want your answer to appear at the top of the thread and to do that you need people to engage with your content. And to that end you have to make your readers feel something. The best way to do that well through storytelling. It's actually something that we talked about several different times on this channel. Storytelling is going to be a huge part of making several different methods work because it is a very unique and powerful way to build rapport between you and your ideal audience. And the same thing goes for medium as well. Naturally, people will start following you and your content, but blogs and forums are an amazing way to start building traction with your affiliate marketing business and get out there and start providing value. You. And you can do all of this without having any followers on social media or even having a bit following on the two platforms as well. The best thing about using both platforms is that you can actually start making money with the platforms themselves. Now leaving an affiliate link inside of a core answer or medium blog post goes against both websites policy. But what you can do is leave a link to your landing page that you can control that leads directly to the affiliate links that you're promoting. Now, keep in mind that there is a right way and a wrong way to do this as well. So you really want to be careful with where you leave your links and make sure that you read the website's policies. Going live is another amazing way to start building your platform even if you have no audience to begin with, which leads us into our next strategy. While going live on social media works, most platforms require you to have a minimum of 1,000 followers to use the live feature. But in this video, we're talking about methods that you can use even if you have no audience to start with. So the best way to use this method is by doing webinars on the internet or seminars in real life. Now, before you hit that start button, there are several things that you need to make sure your live event is successful. This is true for social media as well. For instance, I like to pre-structure my videos so that I have enough time to go through each point that I want to make as well as sitting inside enough time to respond to the audience that attends too. And when you're doing a paid event like a webinar or a seminar, you want to account for everything. The music, the tempo, the atmosphere, all plays an important part to making sure your live event is successful. Maybe you're searching for a faster method to make money with affiliate marketing. Well, there's no reason to go broke while doing so. One of the fastest and cheapest methods that I used to use when I was a Max Bounty affiliate was Instagram story ads. While doing CPA marketing with Max Bounty, I oftentimes found myself paying one cent per click with Instagram story ads. That's how effective and cheap they are. Now you want to make sure that your display fits the Instagram story ad and the best way to do that is by using one of my favorite websites Canva. That is if you're not using your cell phone to record a video for your Instagram story ad yourself. Little pro tip here, I highly suggest that you use images for Instagram story ads and the reason why I say that is because when you're using video for Instagram story ads, when it first comes onto your audience screen, it is not playing with sound. People have to actively click on the um, ad to get the sound to play and most people are sitting at work or in school and can't do that without raising alarm and getting in trouble. Now if you still think that video is best for you, I highly suggest that you add captions to your videos for your Instagram story ad. 
Now, if you're looking for something a little more fluid, a little bit more flexible without having to show your face, then audio is your best friend. And what I mean by that is you can start a podcast. There are a ton of different podcasts for all sorts of things and a ton more being created each and every day. What this means for you is that this is a really hot medium to get into before it becomes oversaturated like something like YouTube or TikTok. From what I've been able to tell as I don't have any experience creating podcasts myself, most people are using one or two different apps. They're either using the Zoom app or they're using a free app called Anchor. In my opinion, if you're gonna move your podcast over to something like YouTube later in the future, then Zoom will be your best friend as it allows you to record both audio and video content. And then there are a few other sites where you have podcast-like spaces stuff like Clubhouse and Twitter. But as of today, I don't have much information on those spaces, so I can't help you with that. Needless to say, getting traffic to your affiliate links is very important, and there are tons of different methods that you can use to start your affiliate marketing business, even if you don't have any audience. In fact, there are seven more in this video right here.